hello and welcome or welcome back to my channel today's video is going to be a little bit different from the content that i normally post um, it's not going to be home decor but something of a fashion nature so my daughter is um she's going to her senior prom yay um and it's an exciting time for us um she's she's extremely over the over the top here and she wanted to do a, um, in keeping with the, the theme of the prom, she wanted to do a boa. So with that said, uh, we searched on Amazon and we looked, um, we found a couple, but we were a little hesitant because for one, you'll order it and then you may not get it in time. Didn't want to add that extra stress um, with an already stressful time. Uh, going on right now you know with shipments and things like that and then we were kind of uncertain as to whether or not we would actually get the right color to match her dress so decided to take the dress to joanne and just find some tool that would match or closely match the dress and we found the perfect shade so uh i'm going to attempt to do a no sew boa so that she can have it as an accessory with her her, her prom dress. Um, just wanted to also thank you guys for uh, those who have subscribed thus far, um, those who have been watching and following my channel since the beginning. Um, I'm very, very, uh, I get very, very excited to, to put content out. Um, and again, I just wanted to thank you guys for, for watching. Um, if you would like, comment, and subscribe. Um, and also share this video with others. Again, thanks again. And if you want to see how I made the, the DIY no sew boa, stay tuned. So I begin with about 10 yards of fabric that I got from Joann's and it was a, it was a glitter tool. Uh, it was a slightly flimsy, but I realized early on that I needed some more tool as I started uh, moving forward in the project. But right now you see me, um, cutting, what's going to be the actual length of the boa and the pieces that everything will connect to. So once I cut that off, I folded the, the uh, tool in half, as you can see here. And what that did was give me four sheer pieces because the tool was, um, once it was folded in half, then I folded it in half again, if that makes sense. So once it was cut in half again, I started uh, cutting about six inch increments of the tool so that I had uh, evenly spaced rectangles. I mean, you don't have to be too exact with this, but um, because again, you're going to end up um, tying it anyway. And once you fluff it out, it's not really gonna matter, but just to get some of the uniformity and you see me kind of slicing it all the way up. Um, all the way up the length of the, of the the tool I then begin slicing in the opposite direction so that each uh, you had gatherings of about maybe two inches wide um, and you see me kind of piling them on on the left side of the screen so now i'm taking the longer uh, collection of squares and then attaching the smaller strip tying that together and then i'm going to attach that to the very first strip of tool that i had so that's going to be the base of your boa and then i kind of repeat that until i go all the way up the length of the boa strip
Remember as you go to slide it down and make it as dense as possible so that you don't see any gaps within the boa. So no strip was spared in this project. So remember the smaller pieces that I had uh, that I was tying to the boa? I actually tied them together and then I tied them in the other in the gaps that I saw within the boa. So it gave different dimension. You had like longer pieces, a little bit shorter pieces that were full and um, it gave it a different look. It really did. Once again, all I'm doing is tying a strip around the smaller bundle and then tying that bundle to the gapped pieces inside the boa. So right here, I got, this is where I realized that I needed more tools so you can see the difference in the, the stiffness of the tool that I'm using here as well as in the upper right, the original tool. But again, it added dimension and um, I was pleased with the look afterward. So this, these pieces were a little bit bigger. Again, I'm tying that into the gaps that I saw. And eventually what I did was kind of trim everything so that it wasn't too uh, different of, you know, the pieces weren't too different. Once I finished trimming, I fluffed everything out to give it a more cohesive look. And here's the finished look. I think it complemented her prom gown very well. Uh, she was the only one there who had a unique boa and she was very pleased. Thanks for watching.